Black Cinderella is back without shame. She is back to posting on her social media pages. Now she came back with a story, story is a jabba, let's talk about it. So she claims that someone had kidnapped her and she was held against a, her will in Uganda and that it was actually the Ugandan police that saved her. She also claimed that somebody had taken charge of her accounts and was the one who was posting all these nonsense. I love the fact that she knows it was nonsense being posted. But anyway, claimed that it was a person another somebody else the kidnapper who was posting this information and trying to solicit money from from her funds and before Tanya Nembali, I mean, that story right there has got a lot of loophole, loopholes because she's forgetting the fact that there was her sister who was also sharing this information about her death on social media, okay? She's also forgetting that this the number that the money was being sent to wasn't obviously the number of the kidnapper. She's also forgetting that we can't believe her at the moment because she simply faked her own death. So what had brought the disagreement, it was revealed by the informant at this time that Black Cinderella had texted her Nigerian lover in Uganda asking him to allow her to stay at his place for some days two days in fact before heading to Tanzania. Now she went there and stayed for two weeks and so he was trying to get her out of his house. The process they got into an argument black cinderella refused to leave so the guy went out to get the police to help him get her out of his house she on the other hand found the contacts of the landlord called the landlord and claimed that she had been kidnapped so the landlord also went and got police and rushed to the same place with the policemen that had accompanied him and as they were trying to break down the door the guy the nigerian guy also came with other policemen and that is how the two individuals found themselves at a police station in uganda black cinderella tried to defend herself on her instagram page after she came back by saying that this man is not her lover and that he is the one who had abducted her now the tea gets even hotter because we were able to get access to some screenshots of her conversation between herself and the man in question where she was really asking the man to at least host her now all these receipts are on bnn premium so yeah that is where the tea is if in case you'd want to look at the actual receipts you can subscribe the link is right in the description below from their conversation, the guy Bolaji Ayen was trying to make Black Cinderella understand that he was supposed to also host his brother and he couldn't host his brother and host her and her daughter at the same time. So he was trying to tell her or to ask her to leave, which Black Cinderella was reluctant to. While she was faking her death, she had turned her Instagram account to a gossip account going by the name Nairobi Gist Lover. And anyway, Black Cinderella, Hannah Nyota, yani amejaribu everything. She tried faking her own death, making money from it, it didn't work. She tried turning that account to a Gist account, it also didn't work. And now she's back with these stories which people are also not buying. Somebody pray for Black Cinderella. Now, at this point, we can confirm that her stories about Oga Obina are not true because if she was able to cook up this whole story, then she can cook up anything. And I doubt if anyone will believe her or whatever she says from this point. I have been your girl, Rai Luangari. Please engage with me in the comment section and let me know what you think about this whole Black Cinderella drama. I have been your girl, Rai Luangari. Always a pleasure serving you the tea. Tune on next time for more updates.